Hello in the back. Congratulations. Uh, obviously, congratulations for this. And we love all your work, especially Obi-Wan Kenobi. I know that there's been a lot of talk of wanting you back and you would be interested in it. What's the situation right now with that? Just that. There's a lot of talk and I'd be happy to do, play him again, but I, I don't know any more about it than you do. There's no um, plan at the moment. I love the new one. I saw the new one just uh, over Christmas and I thought it was really, really beautiful. I loved it. Uh, yes. Julia Pierpont from Xinhua News. There's also some speculation that you might be playing um, Carl Jung. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I am. I don't know. No, I've never heard that. Sorry? Right now, I'm not doing anything. I've been working and working and working, and I'm. Um, I just finished making the uh, Winnie the Pooh film, um, Christopher Robin in London, just before Christmas. Sorry, I took this big mint just before I came on, and now I'm stuck with this big fucking mint. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, Christopher Robin. So that was beautiful. Oh, it was nice to work with Mark Forrester again, who I worked with years ago in a film called Stay. <laughs> and we made a beautiful film about Winnie the Pooh and me, Christopher Robin. It was lovely. But I, it was at the end of a lot of work. I directed American Pastoral like two years ago. I did Trainspotting 2. I did Fargo. I made a short film with, I mean, a, a small film with Drake Doremus. And then I went and did the Walt Disney film. And I, I just haven't stopped for so long. And so now I've decided to stop and take a little break. So I'm not, I have no plans. I like to direct again. So I'm sort of maybe going to spend the next couple of months trying to find a story that I like. I'd like to make something much, I love making American Pastoral and I'm very proud of the film that I made. I'd like to make something smaller and rough and readier and uh, maybe focus my mind a bit on that and um, see what else crops up. Fargo sort of opened my life up to television in a way that I didn't imagine and I loved it. I loved it so much. I like working that fast. I like the pace of it. After 25 years of working and sitting in Winnebago's, I don't want to sit in a Winnebago anymore. So I like to be on set and just have to work, 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 work. So that suited me a lot. So it'd be nice to find another television series to do. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But at the moment, I'm just like off. And I, I wake up in the morning not thinking, oh, I've only got four weeks before I have to go off to do. And that's what my life's been like for years, because I've been lucky. But You and in the back here. Um where did this fit professionally uh, on a scale of acting difficulty, and what did you get out of the, the challenge that this role kind I've of done it a couple you? of times before. I, did, I played two characters in the, in the Jesus film that I did, Last Days in the Desert, with Rodrigo Garcia. And um, I did it in Michael Bay's movie, The Island. I had some scenes with myself. But this was very different. Two completely radically different characters who were brothers, had to be, feel like brothers, but unique. And my challenge was to try and play it them so that the audience wasn't thinking about me playing both parts but just seeing the characters. And because I had such great help in makeup and hair and um, with the great writing of Noah Hawley and his writing team, um, it, I, I like to think that we pulled that off. So it was a great challenge. I'll tell you, the, the, most, the di most difficult thing was I got there and I'd been thinking so much about the look and the physicality and how to play two brothers. And I'd totally forgotten I'd going to have to learn two roles. So the first week, I was like, oh, fuck. I was just like learning lines all the time. I was playing one brother, learning lines for the other. And I just never got a chance to stop learning lines. I was learning them in the car. I was learning them at breakfast, at dinner. So that was the biggest challenge, was just the amount of words to learn, you know. Anyway, I should go, because I've got to get back out there for Fargo. But thank you so much. Yeah.